Hello, 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 my beautiful new human tribe. My name is Oracle Jessie, she, her, hers. I am here to serve the new humans and the old souls and the light workers and the peacekeepers and the earth shakers and the earth movers and all of us bringing this beautiful new earth energy into the planet right now. It is an amazing and exciting time. So, welcome. It is June 13th or 14th. I can't remember. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't look at the calendar very often, do I? And I'm here to do our Sunday guidance reading for the week ahead. So, today will be a shorter video because guidance is asking me to do a shorter video and then do a longer video for the extended reading, which I will talk about definitely down in the description. If you're interested in purchasing the extended reading, um, you can just go ahead and send me a $5 donation to either my Venmo or my PayPal and with your email address, and then I will email you the link to the extended video. Um, if you haven't noticed already, there has been some changes around here with the new channel art and I will be I will be doing more changes in the coming weeks in the weeks ahead. So First things first, we are going to dive right into our animal knowledge cards and, <clears throat> excuse me, I was shuffling while I was talking and the eagle popped out at us. And so the key words here in this, um, the key symbols with eagle are power, creation, illumination, and exploration. So what the eagle is telling us for this week is it's a good week to zoom out, get above our problems as individuals and as a society, and look at the bigger picture. So zoom out and look at what's going on in the world and see it as perfect, see it as the necessary changes that we need to be making in order to become the fullest version of ourselves. We are in this process of unfolding our new humanness, our most loving and compassionate selves. And I know I'm not the only one going through personal challenges right now that are asking us as individuals to collectively, to also collectively get in touch with our higher selves and with that which we know to be our inner truth. And right now, exploring what that means to each and every one of us is going to be so important for the big picture going forward, okay? Yeah, okay, so there's that. I will be diving into the Circle of Life tarot deck next, and we'll see what the Circle of Life deck has for us. Okay, pull here, they say, Circle of Life. And that is the Knight of Pentacles. excuse me, it's the Knave of Pentacles, and it's kind of, it's not reversed, but it's not upright either. So this is upright. So this is how it came out, right? And so, <clears throat> excuse me, what this indicates to me is we as a collective and as individuals are going to be diving in to the big and scary. We're going to be doing the work, and the work, honestly, for each and every one of us is sitting 
with our uncomfortable uncomfortability. <laughs> it is uncomfortable to say that word. <laughs> and it is sitting with it and asking ourselves why we're uncomfortable and doing this reconnective work, right? So for me, healing means reconnecting with that which is our source, that which is our divine power. And so again, for me, we are going on and embarking on this journey of divine reconnection, divine healing, right? And so we are asking ourselves and being asked by spirit because that there is no difference between ourselves and spirit and even the collective that we're going that we're going through that we're this this environment that we've built and we've created for ourselves in our community so we're being asked by all of it to dive in to this uncomfortable place what does that mean what does it mean to sit with ourselves and look at ourselves in the mirror in love and in compassion? So that's going to be a big theme for next week. This upcoming week, rather. Card number two. Here we go. This is judgment. Again, neither upright nor reversed, right? Judgment. Okay, so... Just allowing ourselves to move in that space. That is the, the, the work, the movement, the sitting with it. This is the emotional processing we are charged with doing right now. And so just allowing ourselves to be in and be uncomfortable and be okay with our own uncomfortability. What does it look like? What does it feel like? Where do we feel it in our body? Why do we feel that way? Is it because something in this life happened? Is it because something in this, in our last life happened or 10 lifetimes ago? Or was it a story we heard from our mother when we were 10 years old? You know, anything that comes up, allow ourselves to digest it and sit with it and move with it in a proper in a not proper in a in a more holistic way these things manifest for real in our bodies these traumas manifest and that's what our society is dealing with right now we see all of this unrest in our society because the world is awakening the truth is being revealed and it is so important for us as individuals to wake up to the truth within our own self. And then as more and more of us do that, as that's what I'm here for, that's what this channel is here for, right? To help awaken ourselves to our own inner truth, to our own inner reality. And so as more and more of us discover what's really real and continue to question that, that is what is going to come about. Card number two, judgment. Card number three, here we go, is the almost upright <laughs> Ten of Wands. We'll call it upright, right? Ten of Wands, this is a breakthrough moment for all of us. This is a time of completion. This is time of having gone through the fire. And so now, what do we have to show for it? Some of us are exhausted. Some of us are just so overwhelmed with the possibility that there is more work to be done. Yes, there is more work to be done. and. We can enjoy the results that we have right now. We don't have to enjoy the process in order to appreciate the end result. And if we keep that vision, if we keep the idea 
of the whole moving forward, then we are going to be able to be more respectful of the journey. I hope that makes sense. Speaking of the journey, excuse me, <clears throat> our undercurrent is zero, the fool. And this is us learning to be beginners again. To allow ourselves to dive in to the newness that is us. That is this new earth energy. That is this new earth template. That is this new human being that we are learning and embracing and becoming. Just embracing and falling into it. With no regard to the consequences. With no map. No, there is no map. There's no map. No map. So if you're a planner... Throw your plans out the window and just enjoy the flow of everything. Because that's what it's, that's what we'll be doing. Okay, next. The Mystical Shaman Oracle Deck. And then we are done until our extended reading. Our extended reading, I will go into the undercurrent more. <sighs> On the Circle of Life deck, I've got the Eight of Wands in the undercurrent. Give me a sneak peek here. Ooh. Eight of Wands. Here we go. In the undercurrent, Eight of Chalices. Self-care. Self-care and movement. I will talk more about those in the extended. And then even... Ooh. I don't know how far I want to go into the extended, but this is... um. The Ace of Chalices, this is all of the emotions, all of the feelings, and then even still into that, the uh, Three of Wands, and more into that undercurrent here. And I think that's where we'll stop, is the Seven of Swords. So someone is... Someone or something is stealing from us, and I do want to talk about that. That's that's going to be something that I'm going to talk about rather extensively. Okay, so back to our Mystical Shaman Oracle deck. Just going to pull the top and the bottom card here. Okay, card number one is the blade. This is our time to evaluate what is on our path and what is not, and to cut away those things that are not in our highest good. This is the time to just clean cut all of those things that are not within that vision, within that focus that we need, that we need to be moving on, right? Okay, so... The blade is encouraging us to use it to speak clearly with words that are wise and within our own truth. Because if we speak and those words aren't congruent with what's going on in our heart space, we are burning bridges. We are in danger of burning bridges. And at the same time, some bridges need to be burned at this time. If those bridges are no longer serving you, bye-bye. Evaluate. Evaluate with your head and your heart. Hold that vision for yourself. Hold it in your heart. Believe in yourself. Know that you know how to get there. And eliminate those things that are no longer serving you. <laughs> Okay. It doesn't matter if it's a job. It doesn't matter if it's a person. It doesn't matter if it's the place that you're living. If it doesn't fit into your vision and it isn't a step, a step towards 
your big picture vision, cut it out. Hasta la bye bye. <laughs> okay? All right. Our undercurrent here is the hunter. This is, again, a focus, very focused. Also, the hunter is really good at trusting their own intuition and knowing in their heart that they know the way. That there is no map. I told you, <laughs> I told you already, no map, no plan, right? It is the intuition that is going to tell us. What is the intuition? It's a feeling, very much a feeling. That's why I talk about emotional intelligence all the time. Feeling. It's very important, okay? <sighs> yeah. Okay, so that concludes our regular weekly reading. Um, I will be pulling from the angel cards for our extended reading. And again, if you're interested in the extended reading, it just takes a $5 donation to either my Venmo or my PayPal. I will put all of the links in the description box below. So yeah, just the $5 donation will get you the link sent to your email inbox. So don't forget to give me your email um, and I will get that out to you. Otherwise, I do release the extended videos about a month after their initial filming and their initial release date. So if you uh, want to wait that long, that's totally fine too. Um, also, I am revamping the way that I do things just in general. So I am reorganizing and restructuring how I... Um, kind of want to organize my community and the best way to organize the community is through a Facebook group. So if you're interested in connecting more with others that are doing this sort of thing, that are into this, that are um, just maybe even newly awakened beings, um, feel free to join the community on Facebook, New Human Central. And yeah, I'm just so excited to help facilitate more and more support for our new human brothers and sisters and siblings. And I'm so excited to be here. I'm so stoked. So ready. Okay, I'm going to hop off here and then I will film the extended video. I love you all. Thank you so much for being here. Sending you all so much love. Hasta la bye-bye.